Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the Triumph Speed Triple S, race modified version of the Triumph, right here in Interlagos, doing a timer track as part of the Extreme Naked Trophy Group in Ride 4 Career Mode. Now I'm very close to earning enough affinity with the Triumph to become one of the official Triumph Testers riders, so here we are using the Triumph once more and also I've seen this Triumph I'm a big fan of the Speed Triple S, so why not see what the race modified version is like? And I tell you what, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful, it's fast, it's sleek, it's bloody brilliant. I must say I'm really, really enjoying it, and I'm liking the all-white livery sort of thing. I'm actually rocking the uh, Dr. Ace 500 subscriber helmet there as well. Of course, uh, 500 subscriber is a far cry from where we are now, with a solid 750 plus or something like that now doing extremely well, so I appreciate all the support. Of course, if you are a fan and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd be very grateful if you could hit that button for me and maybe chuck in a little like in there as well, if you would. But doing the Extreme Naked Trophy Group is going to include this time attack in Interlagos, which, to be honest with you, is pretty easy enough. Interlagos is not one of my favourite tracks. It's a track that I will not do under duress, but uh, I will gladly skip it if it comes up available. But I'm glad to be doing it every now and again and just giving it another bash. And as you can see, we're going to absolutely dominate this time trial here. The target to beat was a 137.4, and we're going to beat it with less than 134. So now we're here at Road America on board the Triumph. Very excited for this race. So the countdown begins now, and it is go time! Here we go, starting from the back of the grid, of course. There's, oh my goodness, carnage already! I'm going to avoid the action, and I'm also going to wait for these guys. And let's see if we can catch them up on board this Triumph Speed Triple S. As Bradley Hooper, who was originally Black Marker, has now been replaced by myself. And now I will replace him for 11th spot. And we shall now begin the pursuit of chasing down Ana Salgado, the Portuguese lady. Who's... Oh my goodness, where did that big wheelie come from? What the hell happened there? <laughs> you go into the rumble strip and it just absolutely launches you up in the sky sometimes. I have no idea why. Rhyming accidentally, of course. A little bit onto that rumble strip too, but we're trying to get as the best exit we can so we can get really, really into the speed here. Really open the throttle, get to about 250k. He's a little bit on the grass there, not sure why I did that, but a bit of a chubby finger movement. As we now break into turn five, Elaine Cordonier, of course, crashed at the beginning as well. I think a few riders ahead just are so slow to get off the line. And uh, the American and the Frenchman were just so bloody good getting off the line. That equals carnage, and as you've seen, it carnage occurred. So we're now down by six seconds to Eon Wessel. As we go round the outside of Cordonier. Pretty good move, I've got to say. I'm happy with that one. And get ready to hold it right for the carousel. Of course, you can see the floodlights are still on this track in broad daylight at three o'clock. Quarter past three, actually. Silly, silly stuff, but never mind. It is what it is. Bit of a deterrent, so just in case the... The, <laughs> the sky collapses. Now it's turn 11, holding it right, and I'll rock it towards the next couple of corners. Looking for that rumble strip, so that gives you an indication of where to begin to turn. Of course, it begins, gives you an idea of where to begin to lean as well. We now break for the very somewhat deceiving corner. Now, I carry a lot of speed into this one quite a lot of times, and I find I end up going too wide. And then when I go too slow, it, you don't make the corner properly, but I'm going to flick it left here. Turn 13, and careful not to go on the rumble strip there, because that is also a treacherous rumble strip that you want to try and avoid, as Michael D'Angelo is in ninth place. He's, I think he's also on the Triumph, I think most of them were all, of course, naked bikes. A bit of a mixture between the Triumphs and uh, a few others. He is on the exact same livery as mine, actually. Good choice. There's actually three options you can pick with this Triumph Speed Triple. I actually went for this white one with a bit of black on it. I wanted to go for like an all white and black livery. It looks quite nice. So we're going to go wide into turn one, I think. Yeah, that's my mistake. I was a little bit too eager. Let Michael D'Angelo get through. Oh my goodness, I was a bit late. So now that work has to be done once more. Michael D'Angelo back into ninth place. He won't hold on to that spot too long, so don't worry yourselves too much. But the gap has increased to the leader to seven point something seconds. It's kind of teetering around 7.2, 7.3. And perhaps now down to seven seconds as Jan Wessel and a Brazilian rider both battling and jostling for that first position. As Leon Graham is ahead of us, the Australian, breaking into turn five a little bit late. Look at us sliding the rear there as well, trying to use everything we can 
to stop this Triumph from going too wide. Gotta say, the feeling on this bike so far is terrific. I'm really enjoying this Triumph. But I must say, I am feeling the idea of doing a time trial on board this Triumph Speed Triple S. Let me know in the comments section down below as we go for a lunge on Leon Graham. And let me know in the comments section below if you do want to see a time trial on board this Triumph Speed Triple. And of course, what sort of track you would like to see and in what conditions. Usually we go for the dry because obviously we want those world record attempts. But we shall see in the future as we exit out of the carousel now. And line Peter Akos up. Is it going to happen? You bet it is. That's a gorgeous move on the Hungarian as we flick it right now for turn 11. It's Valdo Pavon. The Spanish person is also not going to be able to defend against Dr. Ace. A very eager British man on a very, very comfortable British bike. I like that combination. So we now break for the right-hander of turn 12, the Canada corner. Good stuff so far. Careful on the rumble strips here. I do tend to abuse that a little bit, but it does it does bite back if you sort of take adv uh, take advantage of it. So be careful of that one. You have been warned. As we now break for the final corner, which is turn 14. And get ready to accelerate. Careful not to go over the rumble strip because front wheel on grass, rear wheel on rumble strip. I'm pretty certain you can work out what's going to happen there. Carnage! Carnage is basically going to happen, so bear that in mind. We are up into sixth place with a very fast Laura Aniston. Now, Laura Aniston actually has been featured in many of my videos. She has been a contender for quite a lot of races as we go onto that rumble strip again. Really have to stop doing that. So something to mention as well, there is a medium front tyre and a hard rear tyre on the back. I'm so confused because... <laughs> I must have been so aggressive because it's down to 53%. I know obviously it is scaled to the five laps, so deg degradation has been massive. It really has been. As we're going to line up Lara Aniston here. What a move. I think we're going to go way too wide though. Front brake, front brake leaning. Ooh, excellently done. That was actually really, really good. It was full brake and downshifting to first gear. That seemed to help us get through that corner. As we now chase down Anna. Salcado, she was leading this Grand Prix just briefly at the beginning. Clearly she couldn't hold on to that sort of lead. As we now break into the very tight left-hander of turn 8 once again. Looking and probing for a move all the time. It's going to happen here, it certainly is. Anna Salgado, take my fifth place, love, and I will have your fourth. But you know, I may have taken fourth place from you, but it's still not suiting Dr. Ace. So perhaps I'll chase down Eddie McDowell and trade him a fourth for a third. It's an offer he can't refuse, and it's an offer he won't be able to refuse, because in any moment now, I'm going to get into his slipstream, chase him down, and offer him the grand prize of fourth place. So constantly pushing forward. This is one of those races that, because I left myself so late, it's actually getting quite tight now because it's three seconds to the leader and we only have two laps remaining. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was getting a little bit shaky hand, not too much, but I was beginning to think have I left it later than Magello this time? Of course, Magello being the World Superbike race we did a couple of weeks ago, which has had an epic finish, so I do hope if you haven't seen that already, you will check it out after this one. So we are now getting into the slipstream of Eddie McDowell. The American in his home track. He is sitting comfortably on the podium for now, but not for much longer as we go. Take a lovely look at that Triumph. I must say, it's absolutely stunning. Triumph make wonderful naked bikes. Probably the best naked bikes, in my opinion. Probably a little bit biased because it's British, but hey-ho. We make a move on the American, and we now take third place. Edna Canto. She's in second with Jan Wessel. It's still two seconds to the leader, and we are on the penultimate lap, so we're going to have to make some lunges soon. It, it's an arduous job. It's not a job that we can't tackle. There's no job big enough or too small for Dr. Ace. We can do this, as we're going to break pretty late. Really close in on the brakes into turn five. Down shifting to first gear there. I think that gives me a lot better exit speed as we go up to the uphill section around the outside of the Brazilian. Oh, <laughs> stick that in the Doc's Race archive. A little bit outside on, on the sort of rumble strip, but still breaking uphill around the outside. Put that in the archive. Now turn eight. Navigated pretty well so far. Oh, went a little bit too wide. Oh, what wheelie? Oh, goodness me. Penalty time. Ugh. God, I hate the penalty time. It, it's fully. It should always be there. I mean, I hate earning penalty time. 
being awarded a fat chunk of penalty time to be removed from your time at the end of the, of the session. It's a little bit frustrating, but it serves one right for taking advantages, doesn't it? Now, Jan Wessel is about six tenths of a second up the road. We are extremely eager. We must have taken two seconds per lap out of old Wessel. So we have quite the opportunity begging to be taken here as we enter the Canada corner for the second to final time. Flick it left here, so you see the rumble strip start. That's much cleaner, that's much better. Oh my goodness, Jan, you are... Eon, uh, Yon, however you pronounce that, my South African friend. South Africans dominating again. South Africans, South Africans can take second and third place because we always take the stop, top position as I'm stuttering because it's going to... Oh, he, why did he decide to move out of the way? Let him get past. Don't know why they always do that. You go a little bit close to him and the AI's like, whoa, I'm not contending with that. <laughs> so let him get through and let's have another battle. I'm ready for it. I want to go for a big lunge. My favourite spot to overtake is into turn five. Let's be honest, there's actually quite a lot of good overtaking positions in Road America. As I say, it's one of the best tracks in the game. I really like it. It always has some great riding. I think I did my first helmet cam in this track as well, actually. That was on board the RVS, I believe. Or Brutale 1800 as we make a move. Oh, it's curtains. Thanks for playing, Wessel. Dr. Ace into the lead on board the Triumph Speed Triple S. As we now flick it left underneath the Corvette sign. A little bit wide. Quick flick to the left from the right analog stick just to confirm that Wessel is not going to be having a lunge. Nothing audacious trying to chuck it up at the inside of Dr. Ace. That's not going to happen. So we're going to enter turn eight. As the leader of this Grand Prix, and quite comfortably now, actually, by about seven tenths of a second. But you know me, we don't stop. We, we, we should never falter, we should never start taking it easy once we have the lead. We should take this opportunity with both hands and convert that into a trophy and convert that into a lift. As we then etch our name onto the history books as another Dr. Ace victory beckons us. We're one second ahead up the road now, it's only a matter of time, 1.2 actually. Wessel, you must have used everything. I'm sure you gave it your best shot, but it just wasn't enough. We did lose a lot of time in that one, but you can see on the map, actually, in the bottom left-hand corner, the difference between each rider. There's quite a gap. Usually it's not that massive, but there's quite a gap brewing there as the fast lap of the race is a 2 minute 12 seconds and 78 thousandth of a second. I don't think that's going to be touched here, considering we're already 2 seconds slower. But nonetheless... We have no more corners to navigate because turn 14 was successful. Quick peek behind. Not going to go for a wheelie. I'm just going to literally absolutely fire it across the line as we can celebrate another Dr. Ace victory. Very pleased with this bike and very pleased with this particular trophy group. Definitely check it out. It's under the Extreme Naked Trophy Group. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I shall see you next time. Ciao for now. Oh hi! Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.